Respondent conditioning, also known as classical conditioning, is a type of learning where a neutral stimulus becomes associated with a stimulus that naturally produces a response. Over time, the neutral stimulus alone can trigger the same response as the natural one. For example, if a bell is rung every time food is given to a dog, the dog will eventually start to salivate just at the sound of the bell, even without the food present. This type of learning is based on making connections between two events that happen close together. One example of respondent conditioning is when a child hears a specific tune played by an ice cream truck and begins to feel excited because they associate the tune with getting ice cream. Even if the truck doesn't stop, the sound alone makes them happy. Another example is a person feeling nervous whenever they hear a dentist's drill. Even if the drill isn't being used on them, the sound has been associated with discomfort from past visits, triggering a nervous response. A third example involves pet training. If a cat hears the sound of a can opener and associates it with being fed, the sound alone will make the cat run into the kitchen, expecting food, even if it's not mealtime. One strength of respondent conditioning is that it helps individuals adapt to their environment. By forming associations, animals and humans can prepare for important events, like finding food or avoiding danger, which increases their chances of survival. Another strength is that respondent conditioning is a simple and natural process. It doesn't require conscious effort, meaning it can happen automatically, making it a fast way to learn. A third strength is that it can be used in many settings, including education and therapy. For example, teachers can use positive associations to make learning more enjoyable for students, while therapists can help people overcome fears using controlled exposure to stimuli. One weakness of respondent conditioning is that it can create unwanted associations. For instance, if a child associates school with being scolded, they might feel anxious about attending school, even when the situation has improved. Another weakness is that it doesn't involve active thinking or problem solving. This limits how much can be learned, as respondent conditioning focuses only on automatic responses and not on understanding why things happen. A third weakness is that the conditioned responses can fade over time if the association is no longer reinforced. For example, if a bell stops being paired with food, the dog will eventually stop salivating when hearing the bell. An alternative to respondent conditioning is operant conditioning. While respondent conditioning focuses on automatic responses, operant conditioning is about learning through rewards and consequences. For instance, a child may learn to clean their room because they receive praise or a treat when they do. This approach encourages active participation and understanding, making it effective for teaching new behaviours.